Hello everyone, my name is Blitz896 and today I'm going to show you how to back up your PS2 game as an ISO to put it on your PC to use it for PCSX2, the PS2 emulator. So you're going to need four things. You need PCSX2, you need a program called ImageBurn. The third thing you'll need is uh, a DVD drive on your PC, whether it be uh, already installed, like internally, or an external DVD drive. And lastly, you'll need the PS2 game itself. So first, here is our PS2 game. Oh wait, that's not a PS2 game. That's just uh, a very good movie. We'll use this as an example. Speed Racer, there we go, a PS2 game. Let's open it up, there's the disc. Very beautiful. All right, now we're gonna switch over to the PC. Okay, so now we've reached the PC portion. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your DVD drive right here and make sure you have your PS2 game on hand so let me do that right now real quick the ps2 game is now in my disk drive and it should show up as soon as i close it there it is the symbol there once you've got your ps2 game in your disk drive all these files are going to come up so now what we're going to do is exit we're going to open up image burn Right here, you're going to click this, create image file from this. We're going to click that. And once it's done, it's going to be in your documents folder, Speed Racer ISO. Okay, so we're going to click here to start the process. Just give it a moment. And this process, depending on how big the PS2 game is, it could take anywhere from like uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Right here is saying it's going to take 10 minutes. So I'm going to end this clip right here. I will pick back up once it, you know, finishes. All right. So the, the process finished and I exit out of image burn. So now the ISO is in the documents folder it's right here. And here's Speed Racer. So now we're going to cut this and just open up wherever you keep PCSX2. The open file location. I keep my ISOs in this folder. We're just going to paste it here. And actually, I'm going to rename this because I don't like it uppercase. All right, so Speed Racer dot ISO. All right, enter. There it is. Now we're going to exit everything and open up PCSX2 right here. Go to ISO selector. And then we're going to press browse. Click speedracer.iso. Now we're going to boot it. And there it is. Well, wow, it took a while to load. Memory card. No. And there it is. Now the screen is shaking because of the settings I have, the deinterlacing. Uh, that's a me issue, but yeah, the game's working. The loading times are abysmal in this game. But there it is.
wow. But yeah, there it is working. Okay, so the video is not over yet. There's another thing you can do. Let's say you do not want to, you know, make a backup of your PS2 game. Let's say you don't want to make an ISO. Well, you can play your PS2 game directly from the disk drive. And for this example, we're going to use a completely different PS2 game because Speed Racer has terrible load times. And I regret using that game as an example. So now we're going to use SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm going to put it in my disk drive now. And it should pop up. Mom File Explorer. There we go. All these files. So you're going to go up here to System. Wait, let's shut down first. Okay. You're going to go to C DVD. And right here, click on Disk. And then Boot C DVD. And there you go. It should boot up now. Now the game is being played from the disk drive. There it is. Ugh, don't give me horrible load times. It shouldn't be that bad. There we go. And the screen shaking. I'm sorry about that. I need to fix that. Games. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who, Who lives in a fire boy under the sea? Oh, 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 Absorbent and yellow and porous is he! I guess that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know how to end videos, so peace.